Hi guys, good morning. Today is a cool Sunday morning. I decided to take you along and show how a normal Sunday in my life looks like. So let's go. Making the bed early in the morning sets the tone for the day. Plus it gets rid of your urge to go back to bed, especially in a cool weather. I began my day by drinking a big glass of water because hydration is important. Later I had a hot cup of coffee for this cool weather and decided to start reading forensic medicine. The topic I decided to study was different types of wounds, the medical legal aspect of the types of wounds and the types of injuries that can be caused by various types of weapons, sharp weapons, blunt weapons, blunt trauma etc. In forensic medicine, more than the theory part, the case studies, the correlation, its application in real life, all are very interesting. After a point when I felt that I really needed a break, I decided to have my breakfast while watching some YouTube videos and then get ready for the day. No matter if you believe in skincare or not, but never ever skip your sunscreen because it protects you not only from tanning but from many other harmful effects that UV rays can have on your skin. As they say, all work, no play makes Jack a dull boy. Uh, the leisure time is as important as work time or as important as study time. So as today is a Sunday, we had plans of going out. So um, I got decided to get some study done in the morning. Uh, as my internals are fast approaching and the date sheet has also been released. It's from July 1st. Uh, there's little time remaining but still lots of there to study. But I couldn't study much in the morning because um, I was not feeling well, I had cold and headache and stuff. But it's okay, some progress is better than no progress. So now just going to spend some time with my family and we are going out for lunch. So let's go. I really couldn't stop admiring these wonderful clouds amidst the lush green trees. Then after some shopping headed out for lunch. It was a new place and the decor was really good but it was really crowded. Good evening everyone. So I came home at about 3.30 and decided to take a short nap. And I really don't know when that short nap got extended and it's almost 5.30 now. So since I have my internals in about 10 days, I need to study right now. So let's get some work done now. And here's another clip just admiring the evening clouds. A great person once said, the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. So no matter what you choose to do today, be committed to excellence and give your best shot at it. It is interesting but very difficult to remember. In this instance, I would like to mention a case of autopsy which we saw day before yesterday in our college. It was a 17 year old boy who was uh, suspected to be dead from accidental overdose of sedatives and it was a very sad case. In autopsy, we saw the classic presentation of hemorrhagic stomach mucosa and uh, also we, uh, the patient donated the cornea. Uh, the patient's uh, relatives donated the cornea and so we could uh, we saw the cornea being harvested and it was uh, quite interesting to see the cornea now it's almost seven and i'm thinking to mark the important questions of forensic and psm from the previous year question papers 
because uh, it's very important to know what to read before just starting to read uh, because not all topics are important and uh, just before the exam i don't want to waste my time on uh, spending extra time on topics that are not so important in exam point of view there is this famous quote which says that if you give me 6 hours to cut a tree i'll spend the first 4 hours sharpening my axe and that's exactly what i am thinking to do right now preparation for reading and uh, knowing what to read is more important than the process of reading itself watching a singing show and now it's almost 9 so now planning to study community medicine let's see how it goes and how much I'll be able to sustain through the session whenever I'm studying and I remember a task that needs to be done and I'm bound to forget it then I just write it down on a piece of paper or on a separate book and refer back to it after my studying is done. So it's almost 11 right now and I completed studying community medicine. I completed the chapter of uh, principles of epidemiology finally after almost one week of studying. It was a lengthy chapter but it was quite interesting one. Now I have to clean the mess I have made of my study table and uh, it usually happens in exam time the study space becomes a total mess. So after that I am going to brainstorm a few ideas and call it a day. Hope you enjoyed this day in my life video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So until next time, take care.